Hi everybody, Rusty Dog here. Sorry for the small delay. Uh, unavoidable. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, that delay was as unplanned as the stream. Okay. <sighs> well, I only knew I was going to do this half an hour ago. So, bear with me. <laughs> it wasn't really planned. I'd already done four streams of this in the last two days, so I really really was not planning this one but what happened I came home from work and um, had a bit of a nap came on to here bought three trucks because I sort of cheated I gave myself some money quite a bit uh, and not too much just enough to do what I wanted uh, because a couple of reasons first reason is um, because I can Second reason is it doesn't affect anybody else in the game, even if I'm in multiplayer, I don't think it bothers anybody. And third, if I'm going to be doing streams of uh, Euro Truck, I want to have more content, uh, more different stuff to show. So, hi Army99, I am doing okay, not too bad. Uh, feeling surprisingly okay today after all those week uh, weekend live streams. I thought I would wake up this morning with a, with a headache, but I didn't. Okay, so let's pop in and let's see what's going on. I have bought a man truck, <laughs> M-A-N, Mannheim, whatever it is, uh, a Renault, yes, and a DAF truck. Uh, and this is neither of them. This is the truck that we're currently in at the moment. And I have 414,000. Um, that's not counting the money I've just spent on making one of my garages larger. And also buying the three trucks and outfitting them to some questionable tastes. So you're going to see the three trucks and you might think they're ugly, you might think they're nice. You may be in between, but we'll check it out. So let's go into the company manager then. Hi, Kiwi. And yeah, I said hi to everybody, didn't I? Hi, Andy. And uh, the, the pet in Netherlands. Army uh, Kiwi. Yeah, that's everybody at the moment who's uh, who's deciding to, to talk there. <coughs> Oh, I probably should mention I have a Discord channel. Um, yeah, I did open a Discord channel. I said I was going to. I'm just going to pause the game while I just get, give you details of that. Um, so I'm going to give you the invite uh, for my entire channel, which has got the which has got the um, Elite Dangerous. Hold on, I need to change. I don't, why is that link hidden? Okay. Should I not do that then? Hold on, let me go to the uh, the Euro Truck chat. So if anybody wants to join, by all means, go for it. Oh, I know why it's hidden. It's because it's in stream mode. Aha. Let me just pop that up on the screen. So this is the text chat. If anybody wants to pop in, feel free. Um, oh, at the moment, I don't have the Discord chat coming up on the um, on the stream chat. But as I know that that is possible, I will try and make that happen for next time. So that anybody, any chat that goes on in Discord will pop up on the chat as well as the YouTube chat. Right then, so here are my trucks, the, foot, the three I had yesterday and the three I've got today. I've got a MAN TGX, 680 horsepower, not bad. None of them have been driven, that's in my Southampton garage. The Renault Magnum, which sounds like a French ice cream, uh, at 520 and a DAF XF. And they've all got slightly different features in that 
one of them is more capable of pulling heavy loads than the other and not really dependent on the horsepower but just the way that they're outfitted. Hello Taras. It's cool because I when I do Euro Truck I get a whole different set of people on the stream than I do for the Elite Dangerous ones in the main. Hi Dapet. <laughs> I see you on Discord there. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's go through the trucks. What I want to do, because it's half past, just gone half past nine where I am, I don't want to go much beyond midnight, so probably about two and a half hours the stream. So I'm going to do three jobs, one, one with each truck and short distance. So maybe something around, what, 300 miles each, something like that. So here's the man. This one is very plain. I haven't, um, I haven't really uh, done much with this one. But if we go into upgrade, I will show you the truck. So this is it. I don't know what it looks like all lit up. I've put some lights here and some on the top. And I've got one of these beacon things on the top. Uh, added bits on the bottom. I haven't gone too mad with this one. This is the one that I um, really didn't go nuts on. Uh, let's have a look. The interior. The interior of the Renault, I think it was, was all wood. No, it might be the DAF. It was all wood. And it was horrible. Now, you'll notice instantly that this one is right-hand drive. So this is going to be my main UK one. And somebody uh, in the stream the other day mentioned um, about a CB radio. So I got one. So we've got a CB radio up there. Uh, I have, there's no connection between the woman and the toilet roll. So put that out of your mind. Um, Gaviscon and some indigestion tablets, which is probably a good thing. Uh, and a DAF cup. Yeah, I know. A daft cup on a, on a man truck. I know. I got my cups mixed up. I've also got this steering wheel knob, which is also a compass because I want to see if it really works. Uh, and my trucking sat nav. And a curtain. Put a curtain on there. That's pretty much this truck. I'm sorry, Taras, that you don't understand my English too well. I'll try not. To, I'll try not to use. Uh, I'll try not to make it too complicated. Okay, the next one, Renault Magnum. So this is a different look. It has the flat. You know that it's got just got that different look where you've got that suspension that gooey bit in the middle so it's got full full red wheels uh, this hasn't got those nuts on the other one has I think I put some sp spiky nuts on the other one different light arrangement couple of horns up there more lights beacons um, so that's this one it actually came with just the one axle at the back but I've just added another one on Let's pop inside this one. And Satnav added two dogs which have apparently got wobbly heads. A Dalek and my chart. Air freshener and emergency change of clothes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's this one. And finally... The one I went, a bit, I went a bit crazy on the DAF, but anyway, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we can call her Felicity just for the purpose of the stream, okay, Kiwi? So this is the DAF, check this one out. So this one I went a bit crazy with. <clears throat> um, I, I, I wanted fully red wheels, but I ended up with them on the other truck. So I think you can see the the nuts on this one. Uh, is it this one? 
Yeah, it is. Let's have a look. I think it's external, wheels, and then nuts. Oh no, these are standard. Well, I didn't want to go with those spiky ones, because that looks crazy. But these ones, they're the ones that should be on it. Hmm. Yeah, let's put those on. What happened with this was, I had all the truck <coughs> outfitted, and it didn't buy the truck properly, so I ended up uh, losing all of my changes, so I've ended up doing it again. Uh, and there's lights across here, uh, two down there, another two orange ones there, four more up here, two beacons up there, three up here. I mean, it's just crazy, this one. Okay, Taras, that's fine. Uh, but this one is uh, is for really doing the heavy loads, I think, on this one. If we go into the... You can see the stats here. Ah, oh, no, this isn't the truck then. I have one where the heavy cargo goes all the way to the end. I'll have to write down which one it is so that I know which truck to take for which... Yeah, it's not this one. Uh, inside this one, um, I got some toys, <laughs> my phone, I stuck a fire extinguisher because the truck is so hot. Uh, I got some, I don't know what these are meant to be, speed, radar, sen jam uh, sensors. I haven't got any hangy stuff though. Let's put some hangy stuff on here. Uh, what should we go with? Uh, I'm not doing the happy birds. I haven't got any dice anywhere. Maybe we can put dice on. Oh, put a fan on. I wonder if that fan actually moves then. Death Star. Disco Ball's not going to happen. The Millennium Falcon. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know if he's going to move. Let's stick with Spider-Man. So, there's my trucks. Hey, Brot fan, how you doing? <coughs> oh, you like that one, Army? Okay. Well, we'll test, we'll test them in order, then. We'll do the Boring Man first. Hmm... Let's have a look. I just want to see if this is the... No, this one's good at going up the hills. So it must be the Renault. It must be the Renault then. Hold on. Uh, let me go back. How do I go back? How do I go back from here? Oh, that's... I saw it just before I... Um... Just after I quit it. Right, so it must be this one that's got the... Yeah. Look, ah, manoeuvrability. That's what this one has. It's not heavy cargo. It's manoeuvrability that's maximum. So it's good to know um, the configs of all my trucks so that I know which is the best truck to take on which kind of job. But I suppose really they'll all do it. So let's take this one. Uh, are you sure you what? Yeah, I'm sure. So I've never driven any of these new trucks. So, yeah, Brot fan, just the ones I showed there, this one. Um, now, does that compass work? No. It doesn't work. Well, that's no good, is it? Oh, I'm going to get rid of it. I'll show you now, Brot fan, very quickly. I'm going to change that then. So, I've got this one, the Man TGX, the Renault Magnum, this one I bought, and the DAF. The big, the big one. Not the most powerful. The man is the most powerful one. Oh, please visit the service station directly to upgrade the truck. Yeah. Okay, we'll put up with what we have. Oh, that's what it looks like with the lights on. Excellent. Right, I think we're going to change the weather. Let's have a look outside.
Now you'll see that that, that centre wheel, the middle axis, let's add axis, the middle axle, looks the same as the front ones. And that's because they're treated as front wheels. Because they turn as well as the front one does. The horns are really crap, aren't they? So what are we looking at with lights? Okay. And the beacon is here. There we go. Okay, so I have that just for if I'm doing like a big load. I'm trying to get my uh, hazard lights to work. But they're not working. So we need to go to a repair thing, but I'm not going to do that. So me and Felicity there, uh, and we're going to look for a we'll look for a job. <coughs> now I looked at the map, and I've never been to Switzerland, so I wouldn't mind a job that either takes me into Switzerland, maybe Dijon, into Switzerland. So let's go into Origin. And let's see if we can find a job. I'm not going to be bothered about the money anymore because I've got, I can give myself as much money as I want whenever I want. I only gave myself a few hundred thousand. I could have put 20 million in there and it would have still done it. <laughs> I'm not going to be too greedy. Yeah, nothing. What about? What about in Switzerland? We've got Zurich, Bern, Zurich. What about Zurich? No, nothing. Why? Do I need to be near it? Let's go to let's let's go to Strasbourg and see if there's any jobs there to do. Because I've definitely been to Strasbourg. <clears throat> I think it's because I need to be closer to it. Um, because my jobs, they only a certain distance before they run out, so Strasbourg. Okay, so we'll set it down somewhere. pop into here and see. So this is my UK truck, my right hand drive UK truck. I probably didn't even have to come here did I? I just go back into the job market. Aha. So we're now in Strasbourg. Still Wexford. I'm looking for jobs from Strasbourg. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Just click it. Okay. Ah, here. Boom. Right into Switzerland. Nice, easy job. There we go. We'll do that one. Uh, do I need to adjust my seat? Probably a little. I go up a little, I think. And forward a touch. And head up just a little. Okay. You comfortable? Of course she is. There was a, another add-on woman there, but she was texting on her phone. So she's not got a chance in my in my rig. I'm not having I'm not having these people texting while I'm driving. <laughs> she can talk to me instead. Right then, I need to go and pick up my my load, so let's go and do that. 
Ooh. Wasn't expecting that to be there, but no damage done. First smash of the day. What did man think when they designed? I don't... well, the top is way too high, is it? I don't know, I guess maybe if they're hauling um, high up trailers for aerodynamic, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Now I've got to be careful because the sat nav is on the left hand side for these trucks. And I've also got a sat nav on my windscreen, which is off putting. Okay, I've got to give way here. Oh, he's turning. Okay. And this is where we pick up the job. I can't remember what the load was. Let's have a look. This one. Oh, it's just a simple container. However, however, we doesn't have to be like that. We can change it. We've got FedEx. Oh, boring. No, no Eddie Stobart. Do you know what? I've, I actually think I've downloaded another set of trailer selections, but I haven't installed it yet. Let's go FedEx because at least, at least it's real. Okay, so now now we've got a FedEx trailer. We just changed it on our own. Mm, it's over. Oh, now it's... okay, it's behind the building. Right. I was just trying to see if those tassels on the curtain at the top would move, but they don't. That mirror is huge, man. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Hold on. I need to sit back in my seat because that mirror is not giving me any view out the side whatsoever. There we go. Sitting a lot further back than I would like. Okay, so there it is. Whoa, stop. Hey Wiley Wilson. No, I haven't said that. I didn't know it was on sale. Are you sure it's Euro Truck 2 that's on sale? On Steam. And not the first one. Because the original Euro Truck at the moment is 7... Uh, sorry, 4 99 But this game without the... Really? Wow. So this game without any DLC, just a standard game, £3.74. Wow! That's crazy! That's, that's stealing it off them. Are they doing a special deal on the Essentials pack? You know, the, uh, the bundle. Man, three... I tell you what, Brock fan, you could buy it just so that you have it while you've got it at that price and then whenever you get a steering wheel in the future the game's there waiting for you. What do you think about the colour of the cab guys? I went with kind of a blazy orange. 56! It was 38 the other day. Somebody said it was 38. £3.74 for, for this game. Bloody hell. But you don't get Italy. I think... I'm not sure what you don't get in the, uh, the other game. Where's Clarkson? Isaac! Hey man! How are you doing? And how are you, how's your... I hope your holiday's going well. 
Oh yeah, don't oh, we can do Clarkson. Yeah. This is the best man truck in the world. Okay, off we go to Switzerland then. £9.73 for essentials. No way. Serious? Is that nine? Right, okay. £9.73 for the essentials pack. So that includes the game as well, right? The £9.73 £9 includes the main game plus the ad. It can't be. The the France and Italy pack all for that price. That's insane. Need to go back a bit now. Wow, that's mind blowing. To get this game with with all this content for under ten pounds, which is what about twelve, thirteen euros, fourteen euros. Jesus. <coughs> now look on the as I was saying on the front cab the front two sets of wheels turn round so that's going to really help here. <coughs> that is insane. That's an insane price. Amazing. I wish it was that price when I'd bought it. Wow. Well there you go. Bargain of the century already on Steam. <laughs> Maybe try playing it with an Xbox controller, because at least it's analogue. Right, how many miles to Switzerland? 144, that's okay. Nice little trip from Strasbourg to Switzerland. So, yeah, Isaac, um, I think I'm about, I don't know, 18? I d I'm not sure. I think I'm about 18 subs away from 3,000. I'm really not sure. I, I, I forgot what the number is. So almost there. And yeah, I'm not doing it. I haven't done Elite Dangerous. For I did four streams this weekend and they were all truck simulator. Euro and American. <coughs> this is this is relaxing to do and I get and I get to um, I get to chat to these guys as well it doesn't come with the France or Italy DLC but it does come with the core game oh you're right going east Scandinavia so how do you get going east. How do you get to east without going through France then? High power car, or is it is it that France is there but it's not quite as detailed? High power cargo, cabin accessories and the wheel tuning pack. Right. Okay. But still, still that is cheap. That is really seriously cheap for that. You don't need a wheel, you don't have to have the wheel, it's just better with one. You could use keys, I suppose, maybe even steer with the mouse. It's, it's possible. It's not going to be as good, it's not going to be anywhere near as good, but it's doable. And I must take this compass. Oh, the indicator on this is really slow. Tick, 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 tick. Are we turning here? No, we're not. So we need to be in this lane. I need to lean forward to see that sat nav properly. Because I'm so far away from the screen at the moment. It's, it's some serious weather here. Wouldn't France be in the base game? This is what I'm thinking. There must be there must be some portion of France in the base game, even if it's not all the roads that you get in the France DLC. There must be something in there, I would imagine.
army's back, high army. Only a few places in France, there you go. American truck sim is 11.09. Whoa, you see I'm, I'm paying attention, sorry I got crashed there. Paying attention to the chat. For the enchanted bundle, whatever that is. And 374 for the base game. I have no idea what the enchanted bundle is. It's not a word I would associate with American truck sim. <laughs> enchanted. Oh, I've got a few people on the um, on the Discord. That's cool. Right. Let's see. Uh, Fifty-six. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick this on cruise control. I think I've done that. Yep. Hey, Stone Dogs. How are you doing? I'm going to turn these wipers off because it might have stopped raining. Yeah, and the time 18.03. I better put my lights on. Whoops, I don't want to go too far out. So here we go. Whoa! Yes, we'll deliver the FedEx parcels all broken. not played it in a while. You know when I originally bought the game I played it for a little while and then I stopped for months and months and months and never touched it. And then like some other people who've watched my streams of it I watched other people's streams. I think it was Squirrel I was watching. There's a guy called Squirrel who, who does a lot of these and it kind of got me back onto it and and then I started uh, watching Mark Armstrong who plays it a lot and streams every day um, and yeah I've kind of been back on it since then and it passes the time but what I do before I load it up I think if I'm not going to play this what else am I going to do and if I can't think of anything better that I would be doing, then I play the game. So that just shows <laughs> that right now I ain't got anything better to do. Does that CB radio thing? Yeah, it does look. I was wondering whether the uh, f the flexible cord there would 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 move, and it does. It's quite crude though, but it does move. So this is my first time into Switzerland. I know this truck's going to want out. Are you? Yes, I am using Pro Mods. Yes, I am indeed. Found out about Pro Mods from the Mark Armstrong channel because he uses them. I didn't know about them until then. But it adds a load more places. You can go to Ireland, Iceland. I don't think I've ever seen a proper rundown of things that the Pro Mods has got. Like a full feature list. I think I might need to slow down here. don't know if I need to be in this lane but I'm going to be in it anyway. Basil discovered. Or Basil. Yep yeah, so again light, very light steering. I'm not sure what it is about this game that cuts my force feedback out. change lanes in the middle of the corner. Oh, now it's wanting me to go back out again. I don't know what country Basil's in.
Iceland's cool, yeah. The reason I'm going to Switzerland is I want to see if it's there's any snow there. Also, I must remember, because I said I was going to do this the other day, is to download the winter, is it the winter mod for this to give, uh, to put snow in places where there's supposed to be snow. Definitely want to put that on. Okay, uh, it looks to me like I need to be taking this right hand lane. So if I'm popping into Switzerland, I can pick up a couple of um, cuckoo clocks and some Toblerone, possibly. Basel is Switzerland. Okay, that's great then, I'm here. I would like to visit Switzerland, but for now, I'll have to do it virtually. Yes, I'm using a wheel, uh, stone dogs, I am. Wheel and pedals. And gear stick. But I'm not using the gear stick while the truck... I've got the truck in auto mode, so... auto gears. Because it's... <laughs> it's a bit... Looking at the, I don't know, I can't do it. Look at the chat, look at the screen, watch the speed limits, change the gears. It's a bit overwhelm, especially when you've got the later uh, the gearboxes that you can fit to these things, where they're 16 speed. Mm. Oops, the lane's already been created for me. Yeah, 16 speed is. Uh, or 16 ratio, is that what I should say, I suppose. It's nuts. Yeah, so that compass I've got on the wheel there for the... Like that knob that you hold to manoeuvre the wheel round. I thought the compass was actually going to work. And it doesn't, so it's going to have to go. If it's non-functioning, it has to go, and I need to slow down. There we go. It's not going to take as long to do this one. We're almost there now. Your stream went offline. Yeah, try a refresh on the page. I'm hoping that's all it's going to be. That was a bumpy little road, wasn't it? We're still bumping up and down. I noticed in the cabs. I've seen a, uh, there's a YouTube channel of a, of a trucker, a proper real trucker, and he, he puts videos up of his everyday life. And when the truck goes over a bump, you can see the, the, the seat that he sits on just bounces up and down. Like, it's really, it's a lot. It's a lot of bouncing. I thought, it's a good thing he doesn't do that in a car. It just seemed a bit exaggerated. Have I ever tried spin tyres? Yes, I I got into the beta of that one. And I've just got the new spin tyres mud, mud tyres or whatever it's called. Is it here? It doesn't look like it, does it?
There we are. Okay. I don't, this indicator is <laughs> slow motion. So we are here already, that was a very quick job. It's kind of the, the distance I'm looking for really. Is there a way to find out the distance of the job before you take it though? It doesn't seem to, it just tells you when it expires and stuff. Carry four, we've got plenty of those in Spain. Okay. Right, I reckon we can go for the full 40 then. Yeah, we can do that, can't we? Of course we can. Let me just have a quick scan around. Da da da, put the trailer in there. Da 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 Yep, we can do it. Full, full confidence in my, in my own abilities. <laughs> Famous last words. I've really got no idea what I'm going to be doing here, if I'm honest. Hey Bonehead, how are you on, on doing this part? Um, there is on the top right corner of the job map. <coughs> cool, I will check that out next time. These are just tiny little details that I seem to miss. Okay, I've come back too far because I was reversing when I didn't I thought I was stopped. Straight, straight, straight. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One minute it doesn't seem like you're steering enough and then the next second it's like it's too much. <sighs> now I'm not reading the stream while I'm doing this, unfortunately. I wish I wish I had that excuse. Yet, are we there yet? This I should be able to get this in from here. Uh, okay. Oh, if it's oh, 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 oh. oh. Silly, silly, silly. Um. <laughs> My brain's trying to work out. That way, right? No, backwards. I think my, my problem is not knowing at what point when to st start straightening the cab out. I think that's the issue that I have. There we go. Hundred and forty-five miles. Yeah. I probably covered that extra mile 
um, by parking it. Squirrel uses... I, I have track IR. I've got that. But... But it's, it's weird. Because that means you've got to turn your head but keep your eyes looking forward. And I feel... I feel weird doing that. Yeah, I should be getting it spot on, but unfortunately... When I played months ago, I was a lot better doing it than I am now for some reason. Okay, so we've done that quick job. Let's switch truck. And I'm going to take my jumper off, guys, because I'm a bit... I'm a bit roasting. Right, that's better. Whew. Okay, so now we've got the Renault Magnum uh, based in Brussels. So let's do that one. I hope this truck drives better than it looks. Yeah, I think they, yeah, I think you're right. I've got one driver stone but now that I've got what five trucks I'm gonna take on a couple more drivers um, and I have two garages I've got a garage in Southampton with three three bays and a garage here in Brussels with five bays but why is it only got three there why is only three I'm in Brussels right what's going on here maybe I'm not in Brussels then Ah, Southampton. Yeah, so my, my Brussels one has got five, but this, it, there is a number six for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, and this one has three. So, this is the one we're going to take right now. On another equally short journey. Okay, what's the light arrangement like? Okay. Let's uh, set the time a bit um, earlier. Something like seven o'clock in the morning. And have I got mid lift on this? Oh no, it's the rear ones that go up. Look, yeah, the rear ones. Yeah, got the rear ones. And we're on different tyres on this one. The ones I've got on the other two trucks are much better in fuel economy. Ooh, a red, a red display on the on the cab there. Okay. So before we set off, then seat adjustment. Uh, the seat height is high enough, so I need to adjust this. I think. And bring that in. Again, I don't get much side vision. Let's see if there's any jobs around here, guys, because I want to keep this stream pretty short. Amsterdam to Cambridge. Oh, now you said... Uh, what did he say? What did... Ah, top right of the map. Why have I never spotted that? 400 miles and the ferry distance is 37 so I'm travelling 363 so yeah a bit too much. 208 miles Amsterdam to Calais okay I want to do something around that length I think let's go to distance uh, is there a distance? Route length. We'll do route length up, I think. Wexford to Wexford. <laughs> Look at this. <coughs> a thousand yards. <laughs> we would just take it in a forklift truck, for God's sake. No, we don't want anything that small. <laughs> I love it. You can actually do a trip that takes two minutes. 
<laughs> That's insane. All right, what are we looking at here? 381, well, let's knock it back somewhere here, see what we get. 264, that's okay. Anything else a bit further back? Something that looks interesting. How about this thing? What's this? 198 miles. Birmingham to Felixstowe, Rotterdam to Luxembourg. How about that one? We do that one? I've never noticed that bonehead. It's just been right there and I've never noticed it. Crazy. Um, right, the job is... Uh, what was, Oh, Jesus. What was it? Rotterdam to Luxembourg, was it? Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, so let's whiz to... Do you... Uh, bonehead, do you do this as well? The teleporting just to save a, a big bunch of time so we need to come down to this is where we're going to pick the job up from and there it is that's what we're going to be taking that looks like it's going to be a little bit heavy and let's just pop the truck there Okay, and it's this guy, and it is 22 tons, okay. Ah, okay, well that, yeah, you can, yeah, that's, a, that's an okay to do it. Yeah, click on the town that you're in, yes, that's, I know that, yeah. All right, my first time in a Renault. Ah, you, I've ditched the girl as well. The girl's gone. We can go into this one. Which one is it? This one. I used to do. I used to use this one for back in the trucking. Oh, you see, the steering was so twitchy there. There we go, that's it. Alright. Here we go. 198 miles. Left hand drive now. Yeah, track IR would be useful here, but like I said, it's um, it's weird on my head. I don't like turning my head and not my eyes. <laughs> it's, I look strange. What would be cool though is if I could properly do triple screen. Don't you crash? Where I, where I'm playing in triple screen, but you guys see only the middle screen, right? Um, I've tried it, it works, but then I get really crappy frame rates, so that's really not, not too clever. And then, oh, I'm going to get fined if I jump that. So, you would see that, you would see what you're seeing now. I'll be in triple screen, but I'm wearing track IR, so when I look over to my other screens, you'll get to see me doing that. Hmm. And there is a way to render the, the middle screen only um, without me losing a lot of frame rate. The problem is you guys lose, you see a really bad quality picture, like it's in 360p or something. So it's too much of a compromise I'm afraid. Come on get past 
Yeah, I don't like not being able to see out of this side window. You can do it with a capture card. I do have a capture device. Yeah. With a, with a decent card computer. Yeah, I'll have to sit and work it out somehow. I have done a, quite a bit of reading about OBS and uh, triple screens. Because the problem is, it depends how the game is rendering the triple screens. If it renders each screen separately, then it's not a problem. I just tell OBS just to render display number two, the middle one. Nice and easy. But unfortunately, Euro Truck doesn't render each screen separately. It treats the all, all three screens as one display. So you either have to crop it, in which case OBS has to record, it still has to record the 7680 by 1440 and only show you the middle. Um, but that zaps my frame rates to hell. Or you can tell it to scale all three screens down into the size of one monitor and then you crop the middle bit and stretch it out and that's why you lose quality. So I get, I think I get about 60-70 frames per second maybe more with this. I really haven't measured it to be honest. Um, but as soon as I run OBS rendering a cropped screen my frame rate goes down to 13 so it's it's not good no good yeah you can play it in VR um, that is to say it can be played in VR but I don't have VR um, but I might try once I get over 3000 subs I'm I might be in a position to try and do something about that but I have to hit 3000 subs or over first because I want my subs to have a three in front before I um, make any moves towards getting or trying out Oculus Rift. So we will see what happens. There's a lot of sun reflecting off my dashboard I notice on this. I don't know which truck it was. I think it might have been the, the next truck we're going to be in. But it had a... The, the original dashboard was all wooden. And ugh, it looked absolutely awful. You can imagine how thankful I was that you could get <laughs> a dashboard upgrade to take the wood away. I think it might have been this truck, I'm not sure. It was awful. because there was too much of it. It wasn't like a hint of wood here and there. It was just all the way around. This dashboard's ho horrible compared to the others. The, the Renault one is the worst one I've come across so far. I like the Mercedes. I like the Scania. I, I think they've got the nicest interiors. You kind of expect it from Mercedes though, don't you? <laughs> I wonder why BMW don't make a truck. Because all the truck drivers would be called. Yeah, names that I'm not going to say. I'm just going to read your message in a sec, Bonehead. I don't feel confident to do it right now because I'm going around a corner. going to be veering off here. It's a very quiet truck this one. I find some of them are overly quiet. I'd like to have a bit more noise although I do have my volume turned down 
um, more than I would normally so that you guys don't get any kind of echo through my mic you see I'm I'm considerate like that you see <laughs> okay when you come back to UK I don't mind lending you the VR for the weekend oh thanks man HTC Vive 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 right yeah Vive yeah okay cool that'd be that'd be awesome so do you play you you must play Elite Dangerous with the Vive then because it's too good right everyone says that Elite Dangerous is incredible with 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 VR Ron Smith sup man how are you doing Uh, hi Freaky, gonna have to watch for a while while I munch my Burger King before heading home. Okay, I'm just gonna. I need. I haven't popped out the chat on my um, browser, so I'm. I'm only seeing very little of it. I'm gonna have to. Uh, did I just take a, the wrong route there? I'm not sure. Well, stupid sat nav. take a job in Iceland there is a great road over a mountain covered in snow it's a challenge but it's fun I can have a look at that I've taken jobs to Iceland but I've not actually done one like within it and we did do a, a, a road the other day a mountain road in American trucks in that was a bit of a ch Ooh, bit of a challenge <laughs> sorry I'm I'm, I seem to be pulling a muscle in my back. <laughs> oh, I must have stretched in a wrong way. Uh, so what does the does the Iceland actually have? Oh, it does have snow, doesn't it? I think on the pro mods, it has it by default. And maybe we'll take a look at that. Might be a good idea for the to use my uh, my last truck with it. So I think once I've got one truck of every make, I'll start looking at the add-on trucks. I do have the RJL Scania, that seems to be popular. I've got that one, but I don't own it, I don't think. I don't think the Scania that I have is that one. Not quite sure why you backed off that much, mate. I want to see a road rage simulator where everybody on the road is just a nutcase and just totally all their, their tempers go much beyond what they need to be for that situation like all road rage pretty much is whoa there we go ah it was a mile away <laughs> oh his alarm's gone off <laughs> Oh, he's not going to stay there now. Okay. You won't get my computer set up. No, no, my computer, my computer's fine. Hold on, let me just quickly read this. You won't get my computer set up, but the HTC is fine, and Elite is some of the best gameplay there is. Yeah, yeah I've heard that Elite, Project Cars 2, uh, Assetto Corsa, two, uh, three of the games that... Uh, you can really VR, but it's hard to it's hard to stream and the frame rate drops. It'll make you sick. Yeah. No, I think I would just try it out initially for myself. I wouldn't stream it. And if I get any hint of nausea, and it doesn't look like I can get used to it, then forget it. But I may be able to acquire one of my own, whether it be temporary or permanent, depending on whether it's compatible with my brain. 
Uh, okay, that was a that was a tight little corner there. I think I need to zoom in my um, sat nav. Oh, there's some brilliant tunnels. I think it's through Norway. Uh, I think. I think it is. I'm not sure. And they have roundabouts, ring roads, inside the tunnels that you can say, you want to go down that tunnel or you want to go down the other tunnel. It's really, really cool. I've never been round a roundabout in a tunnel before. Yeah, I think my budget doesn't stretch to 1080s. Samsung Odyssey. I don't think I've heard of that one. Oh, it's Windows Mixed Reality. Okay, so I think that's called Augmented Reality, is it? Will you be trying the Open Beta in Elite? I certainly will. That will be a week on Friday. We'll be doing that stream. The day after it's been released. I won't be doing it on the night it's been released because... Um, because everybody else will be doing streams of it on that night and I would rather people play it themselves, the, you know, at least for 24 hours before they start listening to my crap, you know um, so yeah, give people a day to play it and my streams are on Friday anyway so I'm not going to reschedule it for that And uh, it also gives me a it gives me a day to have a quick look around it, so that I'm more informed for the next day. Theoretically, <laughs> doesn't work out that way, but uh, yes, I'm looking forward to that. And if I'm honest, if I'm brutally honest, it couldn't come at a better time uh, because the only reason I'm not doing off uh, the only reason I'm not doing uh, videos of Elite Dangerous at the moment like offline videos is because I just can't think what I want to do in it that's gonna be interesting sorry officer here's 50 euros it never happened Oh, screw your red lights. Give me a green light to go around the corner and there's a red light on the corner. Who, which, who was the traffic planner that thought that was a good idea? Is that a roundabout coming up now? Does this game have an ice road trucker or Aussie Outback plug? I, I don't think so. You can get a, a... Well, as for the ice road truckers, I haven't actually... I can claim that I've never actually seen an episode of that. But you can get a winter mod which turns everything snowy. But what I don't know is if it affects the grip on the roads or anything like that. So, yeah. I don't know. Is it turned green? I have no idea. Right, I better look out for a red light, eh? Come on. These indicators are supposed to auto cancel. The sounds when the indicators do cancel, they're very good. They're spot on. Have a listen to this. When I cancel it, right? Three, two, one. It's, <laughs> it's the exact sound. I guess they sampled them from all the different trucks properly. Okay. Wow, 
this is some bright yellow paintwork going on. Some roadworks. It would be cool if those roadworks were dynamic, you know, so you could pass by this road in say a couple of weeks and they finished. But that wouldn't be real, would it? When have you ever known roadworks to take just a couple of weeks? Man, the roads are slow here. 31. And now I'm veering off on this side. And the indicator release mechanism sound. He crashed into me. He's a, he should have noticed I was there. Uh, is different on other trucks, I'm pretty sure. It's not the same sound. Man, this has been an eventful journey. Red lights, crashes. Oh, now it wants me up here. Where are we going to again? Rotterdam to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Luxembourg. Don't think I've been there before either. Oh, there is a, a mod with a slippy road. Okay, that'll be interesting to try out. Combine it with the winter mod. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can just imagine me having some journeys in that thing. Heading home now. I'll catch up when I get there. All right, freaky deaky. You might, I don't know how long it'll take you, but you might catch us for the next truck. But glad you've got a full stomach. No, you'll have to wait car because I've got traffic. Otherwise I would have let you out. Yeah, sometimes the, a the AI isn't too smart. It'll see a truck in front of it, maybe, you know, going a bit over into the, into the next lane like this and it'll still go for the overtake and then it smacks into the back of you and yeah it, that's his fault should be coming out of his insurance but yeah i have to pay so come on scs bring truck insurance either into this game or into uh euro truck three if i don't think there should be a euro truck three yeah, how about that? I don't think there should be Euro Truck Sim 3 because because I don't think that if SCS do a third one, which I hope they do, I know I know I'm sounding confused right now, but I, I know what I'm I know what I'm saying. If they do do a third one, it should not be restricted to Europe anymore. You know, it should be much, much larger. It doesn't have to include, uh, you know, America or anything, but at least the entire land mass where Europe is connected to. So, like Russia, um, is it China? China connected onto Russia. All of it. The whole lot. Yes, it will m mean for some long journeys, but hey, I don't know if truckers do those kind of distances. But I think it should go beyond Europe. But that might be too much. They'd probably want to work on uh, different features instead. A more updated graphics, better updated a AI. I don't know. Shame I can't drive. Well, oh, sh oh right. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I thought you said something else there, but yeah, saying you can't drive an ETS to... Well, that's just wishing your life away, though. Your life will be over in about a year. Yep, pick me up some six Luxembourg, a well cheap there. Okay, I'll bring a truckload back. And we can sell them in the UK for a massive profit. How about that? Could do that in Gibraltar if I if there was a if there was actually a Gibraltar here. Well we're nearly there fellas. I'm assuming everybody on the chat are, uh, are fellas. Sorry if I'm wrong. I'm assuming there are female truck drivers, as we know there are, but I'm, I'm just wondering whether there's any that have got kids. I'm assuming that there must be, and so therefore they must be mother truckers, right? I think the ice road truckers have got female I'm sure I've seen a glimpse of an episode with uh, with women driving these big trucks it's really cool how do I know Gibraltar well uh, because I live there <laughs> I live in Gib for now I've been here for 30 years and it's time to make my I've been planning my escape a few years and it's time to leave. I'll miss the warm weather. Oh, you're in Jib as well, Ron. Cool. Small world, man. I don't have the uh, the local accent, as you probably gathered. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if they included all of Spain and then just stuck Gibraltar on the end. That, that would be cool to have that in this sim. Maybe do a Morrison's uh, get a, a Morrison's truck down here. Oh, I can't stop the truck. Ah! Why oh, you were born in Gibraltar? Wow, okay, that's cool. My dad was in the forces, so we were, we were down in Jib when I was very small, about three or four years old. And when I came back here in the 80s, I, can still, I could still remember, you know, the, yeah, if you know Jib, the, t the tunnel that, that's by um, Camp Bay. Is it Camp Bay, Little Bay? Jesus. The one that comes out at the lighthouse, that one. Well, the shape of that tunnel, I remembered that shape in my head since I was four years old. And when I saw it again, when I drove through it, I thought, oh, there's that tunnel that I remembered. Bizarre. And yet I've got no other memories of Gibraltar except for the shape of that tunnel. I don't know why. Here we are in Luxembourg. Always park too damn close. There we go. Oops, I got my steering a bit wrong there. Are you still in Jib, uh, Ron? next to me wants to burn me up. Oh, he's away. No chance. Well, here we are. Second delivery of the day. Ah, It's nice. When you've got a bit of money in the bank, you can afford to do these shorter trips. A lot more comfortable. Yeah, you're still in jib. Nice.
I had somebody else on from uh, one of my streams a few days ago. I don't, wasn't, I don't think it was you though. It was some, some other guy and he was in Gibraltar as well. 90 XP points. Just to just to end the adventure off. Yeah. We've been having a lot of rain, haven't we lately? Man. It was a bit warmer today though, I have to say, thankfully. Not at the beginning of the day though. It started off cold. Sun came out in the afternoon. We're pretty much lined up as it is. I've just got to keep the down to destroy it. I'm terrible at this. Messed it up right at the end there. Might be able to recover it though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, re <coughs> yeah, obviously because of the crash and everything. Oh, well, a bit of damage there. Where did you live before you came to Jib? Uh, I spent three years just outside of Madrid, and but before then, I I grew up. I grew up in the northeast of England, and I've lost my northeast accent as well. Because I used to say instead of uh, bulb and bus, I would say bulb and bus. We're going to get on the bus. That was me northeastern accent. Right. Let's have another job with the the big baby. Where are you? Here we go. So slightly more horsepower. <clears throat> not much. Not that you'll even notice. But this one has been got a vinyl wrap on it. And apparently that DAF sign illuminates, so I don't know if that's going to be annoying. It's all chromed on the back. I chromed all the back, and even the DAF thing on the on the absolute back of the truck there, the rear bumper thing, all chromed up. It's like a truck you would expect at a show. I can tell you from the north, can you? All oh, right. If I was going, if I was saying things like, way I man, you know, we'd just go and do it in a Newcastle Lake, then you'd know. Oh, you wouldn't, I don't know, because i tell you why I thought I lost my accent, is because when I call my sister, who's still in the northeast, and I listen to her accent, it's, it's so different to mine, but I know that we used to sound the same, and that's why I thought I'd, I lost it, but perhaps not then, eh? Right, let's start this baby up. Whoa, it took a while to start up there. Lights. Oh, I put light. Yes, I put lights on the sides there. I'd like to have put some red ones, but I don't think they're legal. And we've got those, and then we've got those. So a full beam's going to be amazing. And the beacon lights on the top in case we're carrying a really big load at night. Who are you beeping at? Oh, it was the train, wasn't it? Was it a train? Ah, yeah, got those nice exhausts going on the back. Okay, so let's take a job. In fact, before we do, let's have a look. We were going to look at Iceland, weren't we? So let's have a look at Iceland. I have been there. Uh, I've only been here though. To I've been here to Sharanjavada. I've been there. 
I haven't been to Red Red Dwarf Runyum, no. I haven't been there either. What is that? It's not symbols not there. What's this then? I have no idea what that is. Oh, ah, snow. Is this what you're talking about? So what we need then is a job. Is this this road? Caution snow. It must be there, eh? So if we take a job maybe from Akuweri. So I think what I'm going to have to do, the snow road is in the north of Iceland. Ah, is it? Ah, oh, right. Okie dokie. So I'm going to have to teleport then. How am I going to spell this? It's going to have to be here. And Oh no, we'll go here. We'll transport to Holm, Holmavik, Holmavik. And we'll take a job there. I don't know what that is either. We'll take a job there and see if we can find a job. And what is this? We're going in the water? Sleeping in the water? So we'll go from Holm, Holmavik, Holmavik, whatever, and see if there's any jobs going to Iserverum or Balungarvik. Yeah. I've murdered every single pronunciation of that because I just knew I couldn't do it. So, yeah, dangerous snow there. But look, check this out then. This has got warning signs everywhere. Okay, so let me see if I can... I'm not sure, though, whether you can teleport to places that have been added with mods. I don't know. And does the O have a dot or something above it? And does that make a difference? Homavik. Oh, Marvick, let's try and see. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, I'm liking this truck. Uh, right. Go to Hall Marvick. All right. We're falling through the sky, but... Oh, man, it looks cold. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could get over here? <laughs> Somebody, somebody's in real trouble. <laughs> right, your your mission is to bring a shovel. Yeah, someone's in deep trouble there. So, Holmavik. So we need a place that's going to give us a job. And that's going to be this guy. So we'll just... Uh, oh, Man, it looks cold. Okay, let's drop the truck. Let's slow, slow the camera down and get ourselves on the road. Well, it looks interesting. I can give you that. My wheels must be turned. Oh, now the indicators work. Hmm. doesn't want to I can't turn my hazards off guys <sighs> right beacon lights off I'm pressing the button for it let me see I think I've got a there we go key press yeah it's not working on my joystick on my joystick on my wheel yeah you can see that that does illuminate the DAF right then So, I will need to do possibly a seat adjustment, but it looks okay. Excuse me. It looks okay, actually. Oh, we just jumped straight past, did we not? No. Maybe there's no jobs here. No. There's sheep, but no jobs. Let's go back on the map. I thought there'd be one here. Maybe here. Uh, let's try plotting that route there. And then... I 
I think it's this one over this way. There we go. Hopefully we can just turn into it, I think. Alright. So, we need a job that's going to take us up on that road, if possible. And that one isn't going to do it. And neither is that one. So now what? I guess what I can maybe do then is go up here and find a job here. So it looks like there's a place there. Maybe bonus will do it as well. Let's go up to this place that I can't pronounce. Okay. Sorry, I've, I've actually forgotten where the hell I am now. What was it called? Oh, 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 don't need to. There we go. Alright. So we are there. Okay. So let's put some full speed on here. I don't want to look at the roads because that's like a spoiler. Spoiler alert. There we go. Oof, I am way high. I think I kind of lost myself here. Am I too high or am I have I gone through the scenery? I don't know. Ah, uh, ha. Okay, so I need to be over here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm looking for somewhere that's going to offer us a job. Can't see anything here. Trying to slow the camera down. Ooh! <laughs> that was natural uh, instinct there. No. No, the only thing that's. Uh, okay. I'm going to try something then go into the map, uh, zoom out, what the hell are you going over there for? Really getting a little bit frustrated with this. There. Okay. There we go. They're all going, well, these two are going to Keflavik, and that's massive. But most of it is ferry. Yeah, most, that is a short trip. I've only got to drive that and that. But let's stay in Iceland. We'll do this Keflavik one. I don't have a choice of trailers yet. Not yet, but I will, I might have. Okay, so now I need to find the, uh... alright, I'm with it now, we got there in the end. I 
don't know if I've got any mid lift on this truck. No, I don't. All the wheels are going to stay on the ground on this one. And my job is not that way. As soon as I went forward, the sat nav went nuts and changed. Can I go this way then? Let's go this way. I am putting my foot down. I'm trying to spin the spin the truck, but it won't. I could put the the brake on though. Or the uh, uh, you can't turn off traction control <laughs> with these things. Well, maybe it'll be interesting with the trailer attached there. I'm assuming that there is going to be less grip built into the road. Uh, oh man. Yes, I am on the right road, I thought so. Here we go. A little slide there as I lock the brakes up. Right. So we've got two jobs, I think. Yes, two. We've got one without the front bit on the trailer and one with the front bit on the... Ah, now we can change. GPS? What does that mean? Why has that got a GPS logo on and not this one? Okay, let's see if we can change. Borusan Logistic. Let's take one of those. Okay. Wet. <laughs> Western Eastern time. <laughs> okay. Your trailer is ready. Is it? Oh, there it is. Maybe they track you with GPS. Oh wow, yeah, maybe, eh? Who's beeping? I'm not holding anybody up. Right, let's get the chrome, the chrome baby. Over to the trailer. Excuse me, fella, you might want to leap out the way at some point. Who the hell is beeping? Oh, I'm just checking out my, my lights at the back. Look pretty cool. Can we hook up three out of three? Yeah, man. GPS thing means that you locked your GPS to that job. Okay, Libo, thank you for that info. That's good to know. Uh, and there's Ben Barnes with some very interesting information. Yeah, white people were apes as well, by the way. Did you know that? And all white people were black people. What, 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 he says? Yeah, your ancestors. Go and do some research, boy. Uh, right, so Ben's found an amazing way to get himself banned for life. So... Ben, you, you're going to make me say it for the first time. I'm going to say it. Fuck off. There we go. I have a, I have a zero tolerance policy. I don't do warnings. You come on here like a C-U-N-T and I'll treat you like one. <coughs> right then, off we go. We've got to take that road. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to get out of here because the... 
Oh, family friendly. Sorry, yeah. I was. It was family friendly, providing it's the Manson family. Yes. Sorry, I got. I got no tolerance for, for random sad life toss pots. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. What people like him don't realise, though, is that if any white person on Earth traced their ancestry back far enough, they'll find that their ancestors were black. That might surprise a lot of people. Especially the Ku Klux Klan. But there you go. Life began in Africa, so come on, do the maths. Ooh, da, 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 da. Uh, who suggested uh, stone dogs? It was stone dogs that suggested this. <laughs> well, I like, I like the challenge, stone dogs. So I'm up for it, mate. I am up for it. I like it, though. I have to say, I'm, I might do more jobs here now that I've seen this. Let me just adjust my seat. I didn't do that, did I? Uh, I just want to pop my head up a bit because it looks like I'm looking down all the time. Um, no, I'd like to go a bit more forward, but what about field of view? No, again, not working too well for me there. That'll do, I think. <coughs> Rusty, what do you think of Jib? Um, what do I think of Jib? Do you want the truth? Small, uh, congested, too much traffic, noisy, too much construction, too much concrete, uh, but I'll tell you what, it's, you can walk down the, the streets right through housing estates and you will breathe in some of the best food smells you'll ever smell. Some of the local food is just... Oh, yeah, I just want to knock on people's doors and go in and say, can I have some of that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a bit of a... I've got a bit of a soft spot for some of the local food. It's, it's pretty awesome. And friendly people, so, you, you know, I can't complain. And lovely weather, and yeah, There's, I could give you a huge list of pros, a huge list of cons, but I could do that with any place I would live in, so it's no, Jib's no different. But for me now, I just need green, you know? I want grass and trees and bushes and hedgerows and stuff like that. I've had enough of the concrete now. And Alameda Gardens isn't enough. <laughs> but yeah, I've I've liked living here for the past thirty years. It's given me all all my chances in life. Probably not the answer you were expecting, but there you go. So are we? Uh, stone dogs, are we going to be getting some like snow covered roads on this journey? I knew my cab wasn't in the right place. There we go. Scenery's nice, eh? Get my engine to freeze over. Oh, plane going overhead. Oh yeah, just wait till you get out of town. Cool. <laughs> Looking forward to it. And this will be the longest journey yet. Let's take a look out, if we can, without hitting anything. Oh, I wondered where my trailer was. I thought I'd left it behind. There it is. I'm just going to back it off a little. Oh. Right, just give me a second while I change my front tyre. 
<laughs> oh, bloody useless. Oh, here, here we go. Does it get slidey though? Does it get slippy? This is, uh, you might not even need the slippy roads add on for this. Another truck, give him a bit of space. Well, I tell you what, the scenery is completely different to what you normally used to, so that's cool. Lights on then for the tunnel. And please don't let there be a truck coming now. Wow. I'll tell you what they do do good in this game is the clouds. The clouds look awesome. So yeah, in order to uh, drive here in Iceland, you need the Pro Mods add-on, which is, it's not free, but it might as well be. I think it's about a euro, isn't it? 70 pence, it's about a euro to buy it. Duh. <laughs> I think I can afford that. Yeah, it's a euro. Uh, but yeah, look what you get, man. What's that? When you get to the hill, try not to lose momentum, or you will be stuck. Okay. I'm probably not in the best cab to do this run then. The first truck I had was more powerful. And my Scania, is it? No. No, no. The one I had, the Volvo. The Volvo I have is the most powerful one at the moment. And I struggled with that <coughs> on the mountain roads in American. No, oh, I couldn't have been an American truck sim. No, I'm getting mixed up again. No, it was American truck sim I did the mountain roads on. So yeah, perhaps then the Volvo will be better suited for this. But it's no fun if it's easy, is it? played this game for 240 hours. I don't know how many hours I've got on this game. I haven't checked on Steam. I might have a look before I end the stream. You lost your save. Oh no. Don't they synchronize it with the um, World of Trucks though? Or do you have to connect? I think you have to connect your account to World of Trucks or something and they synchronize your save point. Oh, I love the scenery. Um, I really wanted that 100% road discovered achievement. Wow. Can you imagine being 99% <laughs> just looking for that little patch of road you haven't gone to yet? I play it with a controller. Okay, well, Libor, 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 can you, can you tell us what um, Euro Truck is like with the controller? I'm assuming it must be pretty good considering you, you almost were at 100% road usage and 240 hours I'm assuming from that that it must work pretty well so there you go if you don't have a wheel Xbox game controller plug that in and go and buy the game for with the essentials bundle for under 10 pounds which is bargain of the century That's, that sign tells me the road's narrowing, and it is. Yeah. 
and it's going to be, I'm assuming the scenery is going to be pretty similar the whole journey, seeing as how we're staying in Iceland. I'll have to buy a garage somewhere in, in Scotland to make these trips easier. If I'm going to be going to Iceland on a regular basis. You've connected it. Oh, okay, I'll just read that in a sec when I navigate this corner. I know I'm speeding, but I'm assuming that there's no speed cameras out here. <laughs> it could be wrong. Okay, I'm just going to stop the truck a sec. I have connected it to the world of trucks and it didn't sink. I got a bit bored. I made every night about 7 million euros when I slept. See what with the um, with the paid drivers. That's that's incredible. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm just taking a photograph of the scenery. Click click. There we go. We're going. patient truckers. There you go. Put my lights on so that the dashboard lights up nicely. Looks like we're at the front of a convoy. It's funny how the AI don't get affected by the snow. Yeah. Well, in Elite Dangerous, the AI don't get affected by a lot of things. It's annoying. And in sim racing, in not not every sim does this, but some sims when a player car makes contact with an AI car it's like the AI car is like a tank you know like you just veer off the road and the AI car just carries on or if you both end up off the track by the time you've stopped spinning he's already back on the track so unfair Hi Freaky, you're back. We're in Iceland. Thanks to thanks to the suggestion of Stone Dogs. We're in Iceland and it's looking pretty cool. No pun intended. You can stop <laughs> you can stop worrying. Yeah. I was holding on here waiting for you. Paid drivers. You reach the limit. Wow. 7 million euros. So they do... Hold on a minute then. You said you made 7 million when you slept. Do you have to keep the game running? Oh, I'm sorry if that's a stupid question. But do you have to keep the game running or does it do it all like while you're away and then when you go back into the game it recalculates the new time? Or does do you have to just keep the game running on your PC and while you go to sleep. Seven million a night. Pretty su successful company you had going there, I would reckon. You could retire in a month. ETS is pretty good with a controller. Yeah, I figured it might be because it's, it's as it's analog, you know, and not a digital thing, so you don't have steering wheel going from not from center to full on instantly i thought iceland closed years ago not the shop the country <laughs> i haven't seen reykjavik on iceland it's probably here seen as how it's the capital i haven't seen it here i wonder if at night time you get to see the Aurora Borealis. I'm going to guess that SCS haven't done that. 
I use a steam controller so you can use the gyro for the steering hmm. I tell you another thing oh if you I don't know if you it will work on an Android phone uh, but if you don't have a steering wheel you can still steer if you have an iPhone or I don't know if it does it on Android it probably does and there's an app oh my god what's it called now it begins with M I've got my phone here hold on I think it's called Mungo Gamer yeah Mungo Gamer and you know how your iPhone or your smartphone it knows if it's being turned twisted it knows what direction it's in all the time well you can set it up to if you have a Wi-Fi router you can set it up with Wi-Fi whoa look at these winds you can set it up with Wi-Fi and you could hold your phone you know like long ways as if you're holding the sides of a steering wheel and you can turn it like a steering wheel in like in midair and it will steer the truck this is the hard bit this looks awesome excuse me while I just nab a screenshot it takes a couple of seconds oh man this is super cool I love it <laughs> I love it it looks great Well, we got over that bit. And it looks like there's a few more snow. Is that? Oh no, it's just light. It's just light. I imagine doing this at night as well because there's no street lights or anything. Ooh, I'm slipping. Oh, I'm slipping. Oh, okay, we got it. <laughs> I didn't feel it very much because my force feedback is not working very well on the game. It keeps blanking, blanking it out. I've got no centering spring strength at all. But I could visually see something wasn't quite right there. I'm going to slow it down a bit. I'm trying to slow it down a bit. <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. I'm going to try not to damage the load. And what I like about this is there's not many, well, not any signs to tell you, you know, this turn off to go that way, this turn off to go the other way. You just drive the road. What would be cool on the American truck sim would be to do the entire Route 66. That would be pretty cool. another thing that's on my bucket list to drive Route 66 you would definitely like to do that but you'd have to I think you have to do it in an American car yeah it's got to be done whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. it's got to be done in like a Mustang or a, a Dodge Charger or a Dodge Challenger or some American muscle car it's the only way to do it. <laughs> yeah. No air conditioning. I wonder if there are places in America where you can hire, you know, the old muscle cars from the 60s and the 70s, like the, you know, the Mustangs and stuff like that. Baggio! Hey man! I, I bought three new trucks, mate. Three. I'm in the third one at the moment, the DAF. We've already done the other two. Yeah, the man and the DAF. No, the man, the DAF, what was the other one? The Renault. The man and the Renault we've done, and now we're in the DAF. We've been to Switzerland, and now we're in Iceland. Probably didn't need three guesses to work that one out. Yep, 
Yeah, I, I gave myself a load of money and bought three trucks because I thought I needed extra content if I'm going to carry on streaming this. I'm not going to be doing it every day like I have over the weekend. That's not going to happen. But if I'm going to do the odd stream of this, um, I want I want extra content. So bought myself a bigger garage and three three more trucks. So now I've got five. Three tr no six trucks I must have now. That place name we just passed is so long, you wouldn't know you've missed a turn until <laughs> it's too late. What's going on here? Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. More trucks, more trucks, more trucks. Now my steering wheel is shaking a lot. <laughs> Just a, is oh wow these trips you're doing man two thousand miles and that doesn't count the one you did the other day which was thousand two hundred right God look in my rearview mirror guys on the left you can see the trailer getting bounced around let's take a look out maybe see if we can do it from here there's that policeman. Everything just getting completely bounced around. Look at this. Oh, I need to keep momentum. I think. Oh, 2007. Oh, okay. But you had 1,200 left to do, or something, right? Something like that. Now I think one of these, the DAF is fine. Yeah. I'm I'm so so with the Renault. Nah. I don't like the interior of the Renault and the man truck is fine it's got some decent HP on it 620 or something 680 possibly yeah 680 not like the roads in France no quite the opposite I'm going to straighten the curves flatten the hills Someday the mountain might get us, but the law never will. <laughs> Dukes of Hazard watchers will know that. Oh, my force feedback is no good. It's not the wheel, the wheel's fine. It's that the game seems to cut the force feedback out. getting towards now does it I wonder if it does the times properly you know that where for example it can be midnight in Iceland but still daytime you know that kind of deal because it's half it's 20 to 9 in the evening and it's still kind of bright so I'm wondering if it takes all that into account Yeah, man was fine. I, I, it was okay. Mine's bright, like orange, like a bright, illuminous, blazy orange kind of colour. <clears throat> it's the only one that's plain. The Renault is kind of white with a red stripe and grey at the bottom. And this one is... Well, it's this. I'm no good at driving in a straight line when uh, I'm outside. Uh, right. Somebody asked me what wheel I use, but the... Oh, my mouse wheel is controlling the uh, hazards. I've lost the... Um, I've lost the chat. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I don't know why my mouse wheel is insistent but when I scroll something in the game it also scrolls the chat it's a little bit 
stupid like that. But I might be able to fix it now. Okay, what wheel do I use? I'm using a Fanatec GT3 RS V2. They don't make them anymore. So once this one breaks, I'll be moving on to something else. And I'm using Club Sport V1 pedals with proper load cell brakes with ABS so that you know when you hit ABS in a car and your pedal vibrates when well, it does that and the Thrustmaster THR8 or something like that TH8 gear shifter this is really rattling my wheel <laughs> This is the bumpiest road I've ever been on. You need somebody behind you wobbling your chair. <laughs> no, I just need someone behind me. Try a trip to Northern Finland, it's daylight 24 hours. Yes. In the game or in real life? Because I know it is in real life. I just bought the G920. That's a decent wheel. That is a decent wheel. Yeah, and gear shifter. My old G25. I used to have a G25 long time ago. I went through about three of them, and I think this is my third or fourth um, Fanatec wheel. But after this, I'm done. I'll probably switch to either a Thrustmaster TX or I will switch to some sort of direct drive wheel see if I can get a direct drive wheel uh, and that way I can have my arms ripped off in game okay so the game does model the daylight times for the northern countries cool I thought there was a vehicle coming but not Right, we don't need any petrol, diesel, fuel, gas, motion, lotion, whatever you want to call it. We're still pretty good. We've got A-rated tyres on for fuel, so we're doing good. And what have we got? 138 miles left. Yeah, Pro Mods have done a really good job with this. The only there's only one floor with pro mods and it's a big one and I hope they fix it and that of course being that you cannot use you cannot do this um, special cargo missions with pro mods you need to disable pro mods to pick up the special cargo missions if they manage to make it compatible so you can run both then that will be perfect yeah oh they're, they're working on it that's good to know man that is really good to know I hope they crack it I really hope they crack it and I also do you know if uh, SCS actually provides support to them you know because they are helping promote the game in a way aren't they you know because people some people buy the game because pro mods adds more to it and stuff like that you know I hope they can contact SCS and get a bit of support from them because I think they should do I made seven million a night when I stopped at a gas station and hit the sleep button oh I see what you mean right so when you went to sleep in the game Jeez. So if you ever were short to cash and just needed a quick seven million, just go to sleep. I wish that would happen in real life, huh? Wake up in the morning and seven million. Man, that that's that's a movie right there. Like one of those Groundhog Day movies where you wake up 
they do a movie where you, every day you wake up, you've got like $10 million in your account. And then you know that every day you wake up, you're going to get another $10 million. What would you spend it on every day? You'd just go crazy, wouldn't you? I was contemplating overtaking him. That's why I took so long to break. And then I realised I wouldn't make it. I'd be happy with a tenner. <laughs> yeah. A hundred quid would do me. A hundred quid every day. In your account. All you need to do is contact a billionaire and just say, look, just give me 10% or 1% of your interest. Just pop it into my account every day. You won't notice it. But I, I'll be able to live. Yeah, I think maybe 10 million is too much. They can make it a million. Do a movie where some some anonymous benefactor is putting a million pounds into someone's account at midnight every night. Would you, like, not spend it for a month and then just buy a luxury yacht or something? Or would you just spend a million a day? You could literally just buy a car, like a Ferrari or an Aston Martin or something, and as soon as the petrol runs out, get another car. Don't bother filling it with petrol, just buy a new one. That's that's filthy rich, that is. Okay, so we've encountered our first roundabout in Reykjavik. There you go. It must be in the game then, if it's signposted. So there you go. If any of you guys write write a story, a book, that gets turned into a movie about somebody waking up with a million quid from an unknown benefactor, I want 10% of the profits of the movie because I gave you the idea. <laughs> I might write it myself. Well, the roads, it, it, it's got more normal now. I'm seeing green grass now. Iceland is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It really is. It's, it's kind of still daylight. I mean, it's getting dark-ish. And it's half past, well, 20 past 11. I still can't get used to the brakes on these things. It's like, not quite enough, not quite enough, not quite enough. Bang, stop. Oh, they've got toll roads here as well. I didn't know they had toll roads in Iceland. Yeah, I guess you're right there. Uh, you'd make so much money in the game, you'd probably wonder why Why do I need to be doing any jobs? I guess it comes down to, can you play Euro Truck just for the enjoyment of playing the game and not doing it for the money? Which, yeah. I kind of have the same deal with um, Elite as well, you know, I've got like 2 billion credits and it, in some ways, I have to admit, it's made the game boring, but in other ways, it opens up possibilities, but if I started with a fresh account from the beginning again, I'd have more things to do, more things to be getting on with than I do right now with my 2 billion. So, I totally get what you mean. Everybody strives for, like, well not everybody, but a lot of people strive in the game for credits, 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 credits. And then you get so much and you think... 
what am I going to do? Buy another ship? And then what? Spend a month trying to upgrade it. So this is why I'm hoping the, the new beta that's coming along is going to introduce some new excitement into the game. I'll tell you what I like about this Iceland, right? Is I'm I'm I don't know whether they're using assets from the game itself, you know, like the barriers, the grass. I don't know whether they're taking assets from the from the main base game or what, or whether it's all their own. But you could drive from say Scotland, which is part of the official game, into Iceland, which is a mod. And you can't tell that you've crossed over into a modded piece of landscape. Do you know what I mean? It 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 looks like seamless. It's it's not good. Very very impressive stuff. Ah, Baggio, you you play Elite Dangerous. So have you been on my channels before I did the Euro Truck then? Because most 90, 98% of my channel is Elite Dangerous. <coughs> there is a script that makes it harder. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Elite. You mean? I'm not using any scripts in Elite. No, no, no. Oh, you're poor. Why well, that? That's a good thing. Don't think that's a bad thing. It means you've got stuff to strive for. Me, I've got two Corvettes, two Anacondas, a Cutter. And I just don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> Stay. You're a premium beta backer of Elite? Cool. Like me then. Although I think I was in Alpha. I, I seem to remember the build, the first build I used had the word Alpha on the bottom. So I think I've been in it when the whole of the universe, or the whole of the galaxy I should say, was just a tiny capsule shape with about five or six systems in it and that was it. And then they just said, okay, we've given you five or six systems. Now here's the rest, 400 billion, and you can visit all of them. If you've got a spare 5,000 years. Uh, he's got 1.3 billion. Oh, you, okay, so you're an ED player as well, but I don't have ranks yet. Okay, so you've been exploiting then. <laughs> they still have things to do in ET, but ETS too, it's just jobs. Yeah, there is a. Elite has a lot to do, but a lot of it's grindy. But admittedly, there is a lot to do. And exploration is cool as well, but it's about to get even better. It's about to get a lot better. Well, I say that. The planet surfaces are going to get better. But what you find on planets is going to be the same. Am I taking this turn off? Yeah. 25 miles to go. And I'll be bang on schedule. For my stream. I have played ED for 450 hours. Yeah, I've just I've got over 2,000 hours in Elite Dangerous. I don't know what I. It was over 2,000 at the last time I counted. What it is now, I don't know. And uh, my friend Andy, 
he's got something like 5,700 or something hours on Elite. Think of that. <laughs> he worked that out in um, in hours and months. Not hours, in sorry, in days and months and stuff. It's a shame you can't teleport between ships. Um, yeah. Yes, same as me, mate. Playing Elite on the Amiga. But I, I didn't do it on the Amiga first. I did it on the Sinclair Spectrum first. When it came out on the BBC Micro first, that's where it originated. And then... I had it on the Spectrum. And then I had Elite Frontier 2 on the Amiga, and I still have the box, I think. No, I don't. I don't. I do have the Elite Frontier 2 box for PC, though, with the map and everything included. I've got that. And as soon as I found out that Braben was d redoing it with new, with all the new hardware, Count me in. Right, so we're pretty much there. It can't be too far now. No, because there's the sign. Look, Kef Keflavik. Keflavik. Oh, you're going to keep me hanging here. Yeah, not a bad truck, this. Oh, there's a few old geezers here. Acorn Electron. <laughs> it took me a while to realise, when I was doing my Elite Dangerous videos, that a lot of my audience is kind of around my own age. You know, I'm 51. And... Um, yeah, of course, it's because the Elite was out in the 80s and that, people are still playing it today that played it back then, so... I don't know why I had that preconceived notion that everybody was like teenagers or in the 20s. And it's not the case at all, and there's, there's people... There's people on my YouTube chat um, on Elite that is older than me. There you go, 51, 53, 42, 26, 38, so you see, big age range. Yeah. So I would have been, what, I would have been 18 years old when Elite first came out in 1984. I would have been 18. And now, at 51, playing the dangerous version. <laughs> no. Kiwi's only half lying. He's not nine, but his mental capacity is. <laughs> He's got the mind of a nine-year-old. <laughs> nine and a half, okay. Now, he said, now I can uh, believe it. Here we are then. That's a plane going past, is it? Yeah, we've got a plane going up there. And there is an airport here, because on that sign, uh, on that signpost for this for this town, there was an airport sign, and sure enough, there goes a plane. Well, that was a bit of a different journey, eh?
Now, are we going to do the full parking? Now, I guess if it's as tight as that looks, we have to go around the right hand side and go around the building. I, I hope I can get around the building because there's the parking. You can just see it flashing on the left hand side there. It's the only way around. Where does it tell you how many hours you've played in Elite Dangerous? Right. Um, it, on the Steam version, you can check Steam, obviously. Uh, in the game, yeah, you need to go on your right hand panel. There you go, Verdadl has just done it. Thank you, you saved me the uh, thing. Under exploration statistics at the bottom, it'll tell you your your time played in weeks, hours, minutes, and I don't know if it does seconds, I can't remember. But I had to convert, well, I didn't do it, Siri, Siri did it on my iPhone, um, to convert my weeks and, and hours into into just pure hours and I've put 2,000 2,000 something yeah some people might get shocked when they look especially when you convert it but off oh, okay oh, I thought I couldn't get through here Crone are gonna be thinking what, what's the guy doing delivering a, a logistics trailer here this is the crone place. Look, crone, crone, crone. And I brought a different trailer. Sorry, Mike. I think you brought the wrong trailer. Who left those bloody pallets there? Oh, I want to get a lot closer than that. Can we have a look from the front? Okay, I'm happy now. There we go. I want to get right up to the side of that fence. I don't think it will matter too much if I hit it. There we go. Borusan Logistic has arrived. Excellent. 53 gallons of fuel that, that took. Oh, didn't quite make it to level 19. I think I'm, uh, I think, I think Libor's given me a, an idea there to go to some of these places where they have the beds and do the overnight sleep and that way my um, my driver can go and earn some money uh, this used to be a lot higher yeah he's got my Merc I should maybe put him in... No, I was going to put him in another truck, but what I think I'll do is I'll employ... Um, oh, yeah. Let's get somebody from Iceland. Oh, there's... I still haven't discovered the one in London yet. All right, let's see if we can get a... Can we do this? Can we... Oh, no, you can't just click, can you? You've got to... Oh no, these ratings are terrible. I wouldn't trust any of them, they look like criminals. <laughs> oh god, a very young David Braben. Anyway, I hope he's not watching that. Yes, thank you, Stone Dogs, for that. That that's provided us with a, a really good um, last haul. That was great. Well, 
Right. Well, I think that's it, guys. Unless there's a small job here, but I think I think I'm done. Yeah. Whoa! That takes us right into Denmark. I've not been up here, you know. You see, they should, they need to include all of this now. Russia, Belarus, Ukraine. Just get all that in the game. Turkey, Greece. This is what ETS3 needs to have. All of this stuff. So I have not been anywhere around Romania, Serbia, Austria. Don't think I've even been there yet. I could be wrong. That's a big ferry trip. So one th that minus that is how many miles I would have to drive. That looks an easy one. Mm. But I think for another day. All right then, I think we are done. So thank you for tuning in again. And um, if I make any decent progress in the game, uh, we'll, we'll do another stream later on, maybe in the week, possibly. Uh, and then of course I'll be doing my normal Elite Dangerous live stream on Friday. So thank you everybody for stopping by as usual and uh, I hope you have a good night and stay well until the next time I we tune in and uh, yeah, take care everybody and I'll say goodbye.